Hi, this is the first video I want to make about the Cadian 7 IDE. Uh, what I'm going to do is to develop a small application um, by just starting with a dictionary. We will then be going to the diagram tool and then eventually get to the application itself. So this is what the IDE looks like. Um, the layout is very typical of the newer types of IDEs, uh, very different from the old Clarion 6 IDEs. Select the uh, dictionary name to be sample. And I'm going to start with uh, just the pool variables. Let's add a new one there called pool, very simple. You'll notice that in the Clarion 7 the, uh, the prefixes are capitalized, uh, different from the old one. What I want to have there is um, just a standard number, which is a long. And I don't want this one to be populated. And then a standard name. 60 characters long and there we go that's the two i need there go to tables add a new table let's do the product table first again being habit i'd like this to be capitalized there's my table start adding fields product number Derive it from my standard number. Change the prefixes. In the column heading. And let's do the name. You'll see it's very similar to what Clarion used to be up until version 6. Good, that's for my two columns. Let's do the keys quickly. Normally use the PK convention for primary key, make them auto number. Add that. And let's do the secondary key on the name. And that's that. There we go. So we've got the two columns plus the keys associated with it. All right, I've now resumed uh, by um, finishing off all the tables. I've got a very simple model here. Where I've got my product that I started with um, linked to an order line, linked to an order, and there's also a supplier going to do one of the um, one of the relationships you see the relationship block here is empty so let's go to product and I know that my product needs to be added against my order line click on that select my primary key on the product order line I've already added foreign key for that map them by name if I change my product number, I want that to be cascaded through to the order line. But if I an attempt to delete an order, a product for which there are already orders, I want that to be restricted. And there we go. There's my relationship with that. Let's do another one. Go to supplier. That needs to be linked to the order. So pick my primary key. Then my uh, child table or related table. Here's my supplier, uh, my foreign key. Link them by name. Again, I want to cascade. When I delete a supplier, should I delete the order? No, please don't. Let's th restrict that. Cancel that one. And then the last has to do with the order itself.
going to add another relationship to the order line. Here's my key, my by name, cascade when the order number changes. And when I delete the order, I want the order lines to be deleted as well. And there we go. Dictionary is created. Make sure that it's saved. There's my four tables. Now let's have a look at what the model would look like. Go to diagrams, new diagram. That sometimes happen. Sample. Pick my dictionary. And here we go. All four tables. Add it. Zoom out. Get the tables in line. And let's just move them up a bit. There we go. Let's save that. Now, it's a bit awkward using the uh, diagramming tool, but it really helps a lot to give you some insight um, on what your uh, model looks like. It's slightly different from the old data model in that it, you can't write back to your dictionary, uh, but it does give you a few nice features of looking at the detail whilst of the table whilst you're actually on the on the view here zooming options printing options uh, print pdf which is nifty um, and in general i think the tool is very helpful and uh, you can come to proper conclusions by just looking at the diagramming tool uh, having your application open with the with the diagram instead of your dictionary So this is the end of this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at creating the application from this dictionary.